Hello and welcome to my little introductory video of a new style of uh, Minecraft server I want to try out. Uh, my name is Vaquixine and I'll be guiding you all through it. Um, now I know a lot of people, most people in fact, don't like reading huge walls of text when it comes to browsing for new servers they want to join. So I thought it would be a little more engaging and dynamic to make a quick sh short video uh, showing some basic gameplay of the server. Uh, now please do know that this whole setup of the server is still in beta in beta phase which I kinda just dubbed it myself but you know basically it means there's still a lot of plans to add to it and there's still a lot of features I want to enhance and redefine and all that good stuff but I want to already throw it out into the public to get some general feedback and to like basically understand what you want to see on the server before I go any do anything super hardcore any super hardcore changes to it that I'm then gonna find that everyone hates or can't or maybe perhaps isn't actually realistic on a server when there's actually like you know 20 or 30 people online so anyway um yeah so I'm just gonna guide you through what's already been done some real it's really very basic stuff just some custom plugins I've made just some basic mods to make this server one of the most unique PvP ones out there uh, please do note that in this video I'm connecting to local host because I'm hosting on my own computer just to demonstrate for for um, the sake of my sanity and please for the love of God do not try to connect to the server thinking the address is 127.0.1 it is not that is your local that's like trying to connect to yourself and you will not connect if you actually want to join the server after it's up the address will be in the description it'll be on the thread it'll be on the blog it'll be everywhere it's gonna be um, projectanarchy.net but anyway so uh, when you first log in, oh actually you know what, one second one second, let me just reset something because I was already testing something a tad earlier uh, blah, blah. glitch okay rerun so when you first log in uh, I, you're actually gonna go ahead and get a nice little starter kit, starter kit just for joining the server while you're in beta. It's nothing amazing, it's just a leather cap, some bread, some basic tools. Now you might be thinking, this is shit, why do I, I'm just gonna throw these away. Trust me, after we're done with this video, you will cherish these items like no tomorrow. So, uh, basically, here's how the server works. Let me just give you a rundown. Uh, it works on a system of, and ignore all these extra thousands of and that's just the days I have like a plugin that remember or a mod that remembers all of my text I can like scroll and stuff. But anyway, um we the whole system basically around uh, revol bleh basically revolves around the PvP token system I've created, right? So basically, um you start out I should probably Alright, sorry about that guys, uh, my recording software seems to have a little glitch in it, but uh, we're all good now. So basically, as I was before, you basically start out when you first join a server with a hundred of these PvP tokens, and if you slash tokens, you'll see you have a hundred T, as I've prefixed it. Uh, basically, with these tokens you can buy basic PvP gear and such. Um, you know, you can buy coal, stone, iron, gold, diamond, blah blah blah. Now you may be thinking, now you may be thinking to yourselves, oh, this is just some bullshit, you know, economy ripoff. Oh, this is, this is gay. Oh, X out. Don't X out of the video yet. Alright, so what I've done is, basically, um, these resources can only be obtained through purchasing them with these PvP tokens. Uh, diamond, iron, coal, stone, gold, all those resources cannot be gathered in the world. You might find them, like you'll see there's some stone right over there, but when you actually mine them or uh, try to harvest them, they won't actually drop anything. It'll just basically be, they're basically only, the only reason, ah, excuse me, the only reason I didn't make them completely unbreakable is they'd have the issue of, you know, people making their bases out of them and then, like, or not that, but, like, it just would be stupid. So I just made so they don't drop anything. They're just basically a waste of space at this point. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. It's so basically, you can't just spawn up turn on your x-ray hacks, I know you will have those, and not, most of them won't even work on the server, because we do have nice little anti-cheats, uh, and start running around trying to, oh, where's a diamond ore, oh, diamond ore, let's make some fucking, you know, full diamond and all that stuff, and then start killing people, no, not gonna work, when you find, you can find the diamond ore, be my guess, but when you mine it, you won't actually get anything out of it, you have to actually purchase the diamond from this token shop, which is actually a thousand tokens each, so, yeah, but anyway, um, yeah, it's very easy. This is very user friendly stuff. Like, let's say, let's see, let's say I want to buy some stone, for example. Just right click. You know, there goes 20 tokens, and uh, I now have a, a piece of cobblestone. You can do this as much as you want. 
Uh, let's see, what else do I want to buy here? Nothing really. Um, you can buy a range of things here all the way. You, know, you can buy leather, a diamond, basically all the PP supplies. And then you can buy food. You just see the sections, these actual signs. You can buy bows, snowballs for some reason, TNT, web traps, nether rack, soul stone, glowstone, bedrock. You can buy bedrock for 500 uh, tokens each just for, just for some fun. But so now, after I've talked so much about tokens, you're probably wondering, well, how do I get said tokens? Well, uh, when you kill another player, you get all their items, of course. And you also get 10% of all their tokens. So let's say they had 500 tokens, you'll get 50 tokens when you kill them, and they'll lose those 50 tokens. So basically, um, it basically is a way to encourage PvP to a new extreme. You basically have to kill people if you want to get these nice little resources here and be, you know, bamf. Um, you know, I, I bet I could actually log on in an alt account real quick um, and just demonstrate this PvP uh, basicness you know, for effect I'll have him off to the other side, there we go, malware okay there we go now, uh, wow, why do I have that skin? but uh, you may notice now you may think to yourself, well, what if everyone's just going to be in the spawn, they're going to be killing each other yeah, no, PP is disabled in the spawn of course um, as soon as you venture out, though, as you can see the signs, as soon as you're down this waterfall into the happy, happy world, PvP is enabled, and you're going to get killed pretty quickly. So, here, let me just teleport to myself. There we go. Alright. All right, a little farther out. Oh, actually, I think I've got mode on. Yeah, got mode on. Yeah, PvP's on now. Alright, so, uh, ah! Sorry, guys, my stupid, my stupid recording software is just being a bitch tonight. I have no idea why it keeps cutting out and stuff. But how did I lose health? Oh my god. But um oh god night time. So uh where were we? Right. So I was just explaining so let's say I kill this guy, right? And he has about I think he has like five thousand you can actually check slash tokens he has 4,103, and I actually have like 500 now because I killed him before when the the recording got all messed up, but whatever. So let's kill him. Alright, I stole 410, that's about 10% from him, um, and I killed him using, you know, blah, blah, blah. you get a kill message, of course, and then, of course, you'd see on the other screen, um, you know, this much money was stolen from you upon death, so he loses it, I gain it, and then I can go and spend it to my, spend my heart's content out, and buy whatever I really want, and yeah, that's basically how the whole PP token system works, um, Another big point I want to hit on, though, besides that, is oh right, uh, so this is pretty standard for PP service this day. But here, if you do set home and you do home and stuff, or if you even do slash spawn, there will be a five second delay before from the time you actually type the command to the time you teleport. This prevents you from you know teleporting out of combat or whatever. So you know, just keep that in mind, I guess, when you play. And then of course it also has a uh, uh, two minute cooldown between both sla a shared cooldown between home and spawn because you can't go to slash spawn uh because obviously otherwise it'd be quite hard to get back up this huge waterfall of stuff but uh yeah uh the bit the next uh big thing i really want to talk about is the craft benches right so oh shit i got a bunch of extra stuff from before nice uh right you cannot cr place craft benches on the server uh, you literally can't. Like, uh, here. Give a quick scene 58-1. Give myself a craft bunch. I place it. No. Well, I don't have permission for this area, but here, one second. Let me just jump down the waterfall. Whoosh. You can only create equipment this one. Uh, I did this because. God damn, I have to wait now. Because, um,. I think that it'll kind of attract the community, kind of stay a little closer together. There's basically a single crafting bench to spawn. That's the one place you can make resources. In the future, I do plan to allow clans and groups and stuff to have their own crafting benches in their own towns. And at that point, you know, then we'll also have groups where they have their own spawn. All the people in that clan spawn at the town rather than at the global spawn. All that good stuff. Um, stats won't be just in game. Right now, you can do slash my stats in game, and it'll show you your, how many kills you've had, how many deaths you've had, and your kill death ratio. Oh, well, I'm getting killed here. Uh, yeah, mobs are on this 
I actually nerfed most of the drops, though, so they're not actually going to drop really anything. They're just kind of there to annoy you. Creepers are disabled. Squids are disabled. The stupid mobs are all disabled. So it just are pointless. Um, yeah. Uh, in terms of basically that, yeah, what, what, what I was saying before is basically soon we'll have, uh, you know, nice online stats on our website. It'll say, you know, rank one player, highest person with the highest uh, kill death ratio, show their kills or deaths. Such etc etc et we can implement all that um more website like because right now all you can really do is view your own stats and all that good stuff um oh right have a party system of course slash party you'll view all the synax i didn't even make the plugin for this one well, it was actually already made this party's plugin but um basically you can create your own party and then can i spawn now because i don't want to mother oh my god I'm so t I'm too tired to play this game effectively right now. All right, let's try this again. Let's eat some bread. Uh, okay. Uh, so you can create parties very easy. Slash party create. Um, the owners sure. The owners have been created. We can do slash party invite. Uh, let's invite him to our party. It was shown his screen. He's been invited. I can do slash party. Party. Uh, I believe it's accept. Yep, accepted. So now I've joined his party, and now we can basically now uh, because we're in a party, party PvP is disabled. Even though you couldn't fight in here anyway, but you can't kill each other when you're in party. So like if you're doing a big raid, you don't want a friendly fire by mistake, you can just turn this uh, get in a party, and you're don't have to worry about. It. You can just hold down your left mouse. Uh, this party chat. You the only members of the party will actually see the chat you type in here. You can do slash PC toggle on and off, or you can just do slash PC to uh, put a single message in while still staying in the normal chat. Um, yeah, that's basically the extent of party system. You can just do party disband. Bye bye. Now it just says you're in no PP area, but. Uh, that's basically all I wanted to cover for right now. Um, stay tuned to this channel for more updates on the server and its mechanics because I do plan to do a lot more with this. This is just kind of the shell, the framework I want to slowly work off, off of. I have big plans for where I want this to go. And uh, yeah, uh, all the links for information will be in the description. There will be annotations, all that good stuff. So if you're interested in this at all, feel free to join up. There's no whitelist. You can just type in the IP and go. Alright, that's all. See ya.